We're going to close things out talking about locker room bragging rights. And by that, I mean Nick Foles and the Eagles. So when they were going about winning Super Bowl 52, two enterprising fans filed to trademark the phrase Big Dick Nick. Wow. Uh, which they have been printing on merch and selling despite not having the trademark. And Big Dick Nick, here's a little background of that. The origin of the nickname comes from 2014 on a Reddit, when a Reddit user asked Eagles defensive end Connor Barwin in an AMA which Philly player had, quote, the biggest wiener in the locker room. Barwin wrote, perhaps jokingly and perhaps not, quote, doesn't the internet know it's Nick Foles? So, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Professional <laughs> Athlete. <laughs> How often back in your day have you taken a gander at the other guy's packages? <laughs> this guy. He actually, where's your father at? <laughs> <laughs> if your father was in your life, you know you don't supposed to ask this question. You don't ask about another man's thing. I'm, uh, I, the reporter should have, where's his father at <laughs> for even asking? Out of all the football questions, who has the biggest thing in the locker room? It was a fan asking the question, by the way, not a reporter. A, a, a woman fan or a dude fan? I can't. I have to go back and look at the thread. I mean, <laughs> there's nobody. There's nobody walking around talking about, hey, yo, keep your wife away from him. <laughs> <laughs> He's slinging. Like, no, no, no one's doing that, man. No yo. one's doing that. See, it's, uh, yeah, it's just like kind of just <laughs> mind your business. I mean, just like, mind yeah. your it's, business, man. I don't, you know, I don't know what it's like back in your plane. Though. If you go in an NBA locker room these days, these guys aren't just walking around with their dicks swinging in the air. They're covered up with towels. Yeah, when they get dressed, like, you know, they're, they're staying covered up. Yeah. It's, you know, it's a very awkward situation being in a locker room anyway, watching these guys. But that's what I'm saying. Like, even when we're getting dressed and a reporter is sitting there just looking like, yo, who? <laughs> you all right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you, it's like, it's not one of those things. That's why I said it's... Uh, the worst place isn't even professional locker room. This is the guy at 24 that's using the air dryer point. to, like... Uh, yeah, the, only, the only time, only time <laughs> athletes try to show their package off, we already know. If a woman reporter comes in. And that's so wrong. Should not do that. Be, I, 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 be yes, bad. but they just it's trying, the opposite they're to, sex. They're trying to do their job. I know they're trying to do their job. You're harassing me. I'm trying Stop to do doing my that. job, too. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do yeah. my job too. Show it a slang. You know, be, be above it. Be yeah. above it. No, that's no, that's not what we do as men. That's what I'm saying. Y'all, when we're in the it. shower, there's no break. You better not break your neck past our conversation. Don't you look down. You fuck the soap drop. No nothing. Soap drop. Just grab another soap from over here. That's how it works. All right, we go in. We take a shower. We go. The, the media's dead. There. We trying to hide ourselves. Where did this conversation unless, go? Unless I love, a woman <laughs> comes in and is hey, hey, so uh, <laughs> oh, man, it's hot in here. <laughs> They're going to have to put two disclaimers up. In but the, it's true. I mean, that's, that. But that's the truth. That's what happens. Um, you shouldn't have, that, you That's shouldn't the real read, athlete talk. You shouldn't have read that. <laughs> you I, shouldn't have read that. <laughs> I guess the thing is, like, y'all having convers- full-on conversations in the shower like that? Yeah. Get in, get in. You think we take a shower and not talk about the game? Yo, hey, you crossed that nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, or I'm like, damn, well, fucking Kobe gave your ass that work. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, <laughs> you're talking like it's the, it's the locker room. Then you got the motherfucker in there who's ever there first. Fuck! And he's throwing soap all the way around and shit. Now you got, like, yo, come on, man. I got to bend down and get that off. Wait, you have somebody that's throwing. Okay. Oh, you know, when someone getting mad, he's ever been a fight? In a- ever been a fight in the shower? Yep. Who? What no names. What team? Okay. Washington. They will be name, nameless. Na- but nameless. I heard. <clears throat> you heard through the grapevine? Heard through the grapevine. According to sources? Around, this would have been around 2002, 2003. One of the players was uh, sleeping with the teammate's girlfriend at the time. What team is this? <laughs> you can't so, say the team? <laughs> no. You were on this team, though. No, I wasn't on the team. Okay, that's how I heard the story. Nah, nah. Yeah. It's because it, it, was from one, it was from one team. So it's probably the Spurs then. No, no, it was from one <laughs> team, and the team got, tr- they, they got traded. Actually, together. <laughs> like, so later on? When, yeah, when, they got, when they found out, when, they, when, when the guy found out, he sat there, waited till everybody left. The dude was in the shower. <laughs> he walked in. Yep. All you heard to do was in there screaming. This the ro- Get him off me! Help! <laughs> the Rockets. Help! <laughs> this the Rockets, ain't it? No. Yeah, it's the Rockets. The Suns. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Two thousand two. Was it a Western Conference team? You can give that up. You can give that up. All right, we're gonna have to do more digging. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, it no. might be. 